Welcome to Mathematics with M's, grade 10, algebraic expressions, and we're going to look at multiplication. Don't forget to give me a huge like and subscribe. Multiplication of algebraic expressions. Let's first look at the distributive law. Remember, if you multiply into a bracket with A, you must multiply A with B and A with C to give you AB plus AC. Or if there's more than two terms, A times B is AB, A times C is AC, and A times D is AD. So the variable A is then distributed to and multiplied by with all the other terms inside the bracket. Let's first look at the product of two binomials. So if you have two binomials, that means in each bracket there's two terms. The so-called FOIL method can be used to multiply two binomials. Here you must first multiply the first term in each bracket, then you multiply the outer terms, and then the inner terms in the final last term. Look at the example, F is first, then O is outer, L, I is inner, and L is last. So therefore A times C is AC, A times D is AD, B times C is BC, and B times D is BD. The product of a binomial and a trinomial, that means in the first bracket we have two terms, and in the other bracket we have three terms. So here the same thing. So we first multiply X with A, then you multiply X with B, and then X with C. Then Y with A, Y with B, and Y with C, to give you AX plus AY plus BX plus BY plus CX plus CY. Let's look at the following examples. A. So you have X times X, which is X squared. X times 2 is 2X. 3 times X is 3X. And 3 times 2 is 6. Then you collect your like terms. 2X plus 3X is 5X. Look at B. 3Y times 2Y is 6Y squared. 3Y times 4 is 12Y. Negative 1 times 2Y is negative 2Y. And negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. Then again, collect the like terms. 12Y minus 2Y is 10Y. Look at C. 2X times X is 2X squared. 2x times 3y is negative 6xy. Negative 4y times x is negative 4xy. And negative 4 times negative 3y is 12, positive 12y squared. Again, collect the two like terms. Negative 6xy, negative 4xy gives you negative 10xy. Look at D. 2ab times ab is 2a squared b squared. 2ab times 5 is negative 10ab. 3 times AB is 3AB, 3 times 5 is negative 15. Again, collect the like terms. Negative 10AB plus 3AB is negative 7AB. If you aren't sure about the negatives, I suggest you use a calculator to help you with that. Look at E, 2X cubed times X cubed is 2X to the power 6. 2X cubed times minus 2Y is minus 4X cubed Y. 7y times x cubed is 7x cubed y. 7y times negative 2y is negative 14y squared. Again, collect the two like terms. Negative 4 and 7 is positive 3. x cubed y. Look at f. x times x squared is x cubed. x times minus 3xy is minus 3x squared y. And x times 2y squared is 2y. Right. Then the next one y times x squared, y times 3xy, and y times plus 2y squared. Be careful with the signs when you multiply a neg with a negative. All the signs must change. Collect your like terms, and you get x cubed minus 4x squared y plus 5xy squared plus 2y cubed. Then g, which is a much more in difficult problem, so you, you multiply the first two brackets first, and then you multiply the second two brackets. But take note, there's a negative in between, so please be careful, because the negative in between the two will change the sign of the second. So please be careful when you do that. Collect your like terms, and then get your final answer, which is negative 4 n to the power 3 minus 12 n squared, plus 8n, plus 59. Right, I would recommend 
that you have a look at this exercise. It is important that you need to work through all of them. Remember, practice makes perfect. So be careful with negatives when you multiply. Be careful when you have to remove brackets. Be careful when there's more than one term. Be careful when there's a negative in front of the bracket. They will influence the final answer. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, this is uh, Mathematics with Ams, Ahmed Suleiman. Please don't forget to give me a huge like and subscribe.